Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple James. Today we're out at a hotel doing all kinds of repairs, cleans, repairs, new installations. And a lot of this re applies, you know, to you guys, the homeowners. You can do these things as well. So we're going to be working on 22 different downspout drains. Some of them, as you can see, we need to cut the walk and bring that line out to the street. Others, we just need to dig it up. And of course, the utilities. What a fun project when all the utilities have been located, quote, but you know, none of them actually are. When you get a call from a hotel or an apartment complex, it's really a nightmare. You'll end up coming out and fixing the problems from their maintenance man. And one of the most common problems is that maintenance man, he tried to fix the problem hooking up the downspouts, but he ran perforated pipe right up against the foundation wall. You can imagine what problems that caused. And of course, the manager or the owner of the hotel, they don't want to spend any money. And you can see all the utilities, the irrigation. It is a real nightmare and they just want you to fix the problem. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here on the side of the building, someone had run perforated pipe along the side of the building. And they're also right up on the footer, as you can see. This is a, a pretty big no-no. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just replace this perforated pipe right here. Paul's just cleaning it out. We've already got our piece ready to go to install. So now we're going to go ahead and put this together. This is not an easy repair. Okay, hold it right there, Paul. <clears throat> and you can see it's a real tight fit. This pipe doesn't bend. We've got about an inch of pipe that we've got to get to go that way and then pull the pipe back. Okay, so now we'll pound the pipe back towards the downspout into the fitting. Now we've got a nice piece of solid pipe that runs all along this wall coming from the front downspout. Now we'll just cover it up and be Okay, so we're working on a downspout drain and you can see that it comes from up here at this building, picks up all these downspouts, comes down, goes underground. You can see the pipe here, <clears throat> goes down, and then it turns and comes underneath this retaining wall. And right down here where we're getting to, the line is broken. So we've got to get down to that area and, and we make the repair. The line comes across the sidewalk over here and you can see we had our machine here to clean the drain that's how we found the problem. In addition we cleaned 22 downspout drains here all PVC all full of roots and debris but we got them all open and this was a tough repair right here. <clears throat> so you can see we've taken this pipe apart <clears throat> had a 45 comes over 90s down 90s down underneath and this line is so full of asphalt from the roof that we actually have to use the water pressure to open this line. So we had to replace the section across here and down onto the riser. That thing was so full of asphalt from the roof, it's packed all the way back up through the pipe. Took quite a bit to get through there, but we got it. That line comes under the sidewalk over here where we added a little great clean out. And now we have a great flow of water coming from that roof. Whereas before, all that water was going in that breezeway between the two buildings and going under the building. Okay, so over here we've hooked up a small catch basin to some PVC. You can see the connections. Basically, we slice this line that goes out. This is going to a storm drain. We use a no-hub adapter to hold that together because it's easy to put together. Add a new T90, comes around over to the catch basin over there. We'll put the lid on that, cover it up, and this little section is done. Now we're just covering it up. What's been happening here is that the water's, you can't see it from this bush, but water's been coming down through here, flooding this patio, and of course it's trying to get into these rooms. Remember, we're at the hotel. Also, they've got a roof problem, which they've tried to divert the water, but that water all drops right down here so this should take care of the problem. We're going to have to use the pick, there's a lot of rocks.
So this is something that you guys could do, the homeowners could do themselves. It's, uh, you can see I've got three guys out here working. So hopefully we knock this out here within the hour, but you could do this yourself. This is a rather deep dig, but a real important dig because again, what's happening is that water from the roof, it all comes down and it just floods right here and going right underneath of that slab and inside the building, it is just really, really wet and no doubt there's probably some mold in there too. Okay, so you can see these guys made real quick work of this. Got a nice trench, go underneath of these pipes, whatever they are, the sprinkler system, and it looks like power line there, but it's hard to say. Come right up there to the downspout where we will connect that and bring all that water out here to the sidewalk. Okay, so here's our line. We put what, this is kind of like a pop-up. It's just a grate, a four inch grate, and water will just come up out through it. I like this better than a pop-up because it's easy to take off and easy to clean. Hooked it up to our downspout, and we're done. So you can see, we're gonna take this 90 off, and you can see the water just pouring out of there. It runs uphill so bad. But now, of course, we've got a great downhill run. You can see it running down our trench already. We have to take these 90s off on both sides. Same thing on this side. You can see our trench already filled up with water. But we'll put a T on here, send it down, cut the sidewalk, come across, and discharge out here where we've got our piece of pipe ready to go. But we'll cut all this up, cover it up, patch it up, and this will be the first repair at this hotel. So all in all, we did 22 repairs out here at this hotel. Uh, lots of sidewalks were cut. Lots of concrete was re-poured. Lots of new PVC was installed. But the real hard part of this job was that even though we called 811 and they did come out and locate some utilities, but they did not locate all of them. So that really makes it difficult when you're trying to you know, dig, excavate underground. Hopefully you learned a lot from this. Many of these repairs are in your yard as well. Okay, so we've poured our concrete back, <clears throat> put our caution tape up, as you can see. We just use scrap stuff to block the area, just get the people's attention. But basically, all the downspouts through this breezeway they used to go all the way out to a storm drain over there, but it's actually uphill from these front downspouts right here and on the other half of the building. It's uphill about a foot, so we changed all that, brought the lines out, came across, down, and it all just comes out here at the curb, but you can't see the curb hole right now because it's got concrete and our little form in front of it. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey Miami, take a look. This is not how we run downspouts. Can you see that extension? Take a look at that roof. So much water comes off of that roof, comes down the downspout, that will end up right back under your foundation.